Hi, I'm Britton Taylor, and this is Verse by Verse, a short podcast all about exploring the insights and lessons of the inspired Word of God. Did you ever wish that all your problems would go away? Probably all of us have wished that at some point. Well, we all know that's not going to happen anytime soon, and the cynic might say that it's not going to happen until I die. I think it's human nature for us to want to blame others for our problems. Oftentimes, that's what we do. We blame others for the problems we have or the difficulties that we face. As an adult, I know that there can be contributing factors that cause us difficulties. However, that's not to say that there aren't outside sources that not only contribute to our problems, but are the source of all the evil that we face. In fact, There is a being that has wreaked havoc upon mankind for millennia. I think it best that we get to the source of the grievous problems that all of us face. That source is Satan the devil. The scripture is clear on that point. But what if the cause or the source of not only our problems, but all of mankind's problems, was put on hold or put out of commission? Quite frankly, there is a root cause for the problems we face, and that is beyond our control. The Bible clearly shows that our greatest nemesis is Satan. He is at the root of all the problems that beset us. Today I want to turn to a scripture that addresses a period of time when the true author of the sins of this world and the resulting problems that sin causes is set aside. A time is coming where the author of sin cannot continue to do as he has always done. The hurt and the destruction that he has brought on mankind will not be permitted to continue. Revelation 20, verses 1 through 3, is a most encouraging passage. Let me read Revelation 21 through 3. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, that serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal on him so that he could deceive the nations no more till the thousand years were finished. But after these things, he must be released for a little while. Revelation makes it clear that Satan will be bound, sealed, and cast away from the presence of man. He will no longer be able to deceive the nations for a thousand years. Two things that I would like to touch on from this scripture. Satan's calling card is deception. The Bible says that Satan has deceived the whole world, not a part of the world or a corner of the world, but the whole world. Scripture goes on to say that Satan is the author of lies. Hence, the great deceiver. A time is coming where he will no longer be able to deceive people. The pull of Satan will cease. Two things. He is the great deceiver, and a time will come when he won't be able to deceive. He will not have influence on mankind for a full millennium, a full 1,000 years. Can you imagine how wonderful that will be? Satan to be shut up and kept away from man. Mankind will no longer be under and subject to the pulls of the devil. Yes, we have our own human nature to deal with, but how much easier will it be to accept the true God of heaven when Satan the devil cannot deceive people to believe another way? How many of our problems originated with our being lied to and deceived so that we don't want to trust our Heavenly Father? From the very beginning in the Garden of Eden, Satan has falsely painted God as not telling the truth. Eat of the fruit and you will surely not die, is what he said. Eve was deceived and Adam followed into the despair of disobedience. Man encountered deception and falsehoods from the very beginning. There is not enough time during this podcast for me to even begin to touch on the ways that the great deceiver has hurt you and has hurt me. But rest assured, the time is coming when Satan will no longer be able to deceive and cause the problems and destruction that mankind has faced from the beginning of time. Your Bible clearly states that the time is coming when relief is given to the inhabitants of this world. Let me end by saying, 
Lord, hasten that day when the fallen angel will be bound and sealed so that he can no longer influence us. A world without Satan the devil. And what a blessing that will be. Verse by Verse is a companion podcast to the Daily Bible Verse blog, which you can find on the Life, Hope, and Truth Learning Center. Check out the show notes for more.